choker necklace and I know choker has been in and it's been making a really big way for the past year or so now and it looks like it's gonna stay here for a bit longer I have these heavy tassel earrings that I had from forever 21 very cheap and very heavy so I didn't really wear them and I was thinking of turning them into something else and once I saw their choker necklace um, that Michelle Fong was wearing I was like I could use it for that. This is definitely more of a statement piece and I feel, really feel like it goes with different types of vibes and different types of looks. And chokers are very simple to make. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and take some inspiration out of it and create your own different designs of chokers because there's so many out there and they're so easy to make. All right, so let's just get started. Things you need. Ribbons, tassel ornaments, clasp, crimp closures, and pliers as well as looped wires and jump rings. Now starting off with the ribbon, I'm just going to measure out the amount I need based on my next circumference. So what I realized from this whole experience is that if you're going to use a toggle clasp like I did, just make sure that you take that into account because it will add length to the final outcome. Um, if you're using lobster claw clasp, it won't matter too much. Now I'm just taking the tassel ornament that I got from my earring and checking how it looks. Gather the pliers. I'm going to use the big one since it can cut the wire. I'm going to cut this looped wire so that the tail is 3 fourths of an inch long. Now I'm taking the needle nose plier to create a loop in the opposite direction. The final outcome should looks something like an S. And if you're using an earring dangly like I did for the main piece, you can also use the fish hook part that comes with the earrings to do this. will now look something like this. For the ribbon, I'm checking where the middle is because this is where I'm going to want the tassel piece to go. Initially, I had the loop wire. I just created go through the ribbon like this, but I changed it after filming so the whole girth of the ribbon is kind of folded and fitted into that loop. tassel piece and attaching it to the other side of the wire loop that's just been kind of hanging out. So finally, the ribbon and the tassel pieces are connected. For the end of the ribbon, I'm going to take crimping clasps so that the two ends can now be held together. Here I'm just folding the ribbon ends up so they can fit into the clasp and give some girth for the crimping clasp to grasp onto. Now make sure to have the legs of the clasp and the wrong side of the ribbon facing up so when the clas clasp are crimped that it'll look clean. Take the plier, the large plier, not the needle nose, and clamp down on the side one over the other. The two ribbon ends should now look like this. Now I'm taking these two looped wires and making jump rings out of them since I lost my packet of jump rings. For 
For the jump rings, I'm using it to connect the ribbon end that has the crimping clasp on them to the toggle clasp. Now, I would prefer using the lobster claw clasp than the toggle clasp, but I didn't have any on hand. So just repeat on the other side as you did on this side. And there you go, the choker is now completed. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys were inspired by this and want to make your own DIY choker necklace, um, tag me in the photo on Instagram, Twitter, or send me a snap. Um, I just want to see your creations um, and your inspirations as well. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked it, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, it means a lot. And if you guys haven't done so already, hit the um, subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is on. So that way you don't miss out any new videos that I make. I make two videos a week. So thank you guys so much. And as usual, much love. Peace.